What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video on behalf of the Stadia Dosage platform. All right, what do you see on your screen? Well, let me go over here. All right, what you see here, and I'm going to extend this for those that are watching this, this is ShareStadia.com. Okay, and ShareStadia.com is going to be the focal point of something new that we're going to do here on the Stadia Dosage, which is something called Community Spotlight. Okay, so one thing I want to say about the Stadia community is that on the onset, that this is one of the most invigorating <laughs> and most supportive communities that I've ever come across. You know what I mean? Um, and that's one of the, the, the big things that is bolstering my excitement for this platform is the enthusiasm with those early on. Uh, so if you're interested again at looking at this platform or if you already have it, um, you can come here to Stadia Dosage or come to some of the community members that I'm going to spotlight in the Community Spotlight platform. With that said, ShareStadia.com. For those that don't know, they're a publication that runs Stadia-based information and news and, and all types of other content. They've even been so kind to host your boys. One of, your, one of his inaugural videos on the Stadia Dosage platform, which is right here. You know what I mean? Where we highlight a lot of the outrage culture stuff when it comes to people trying to test Stadia, even though they're being more favorable to dedicated devices. They posted that here on the site, and they got a lot of other good stuff here on this website, so definitely check them out. But one of the main reasons why they're part of the community spotlight today is because they they talk about something that's being overlooked. And I only touch upon briefly in my video, but they do a, 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 a much better job and a more detailed job explaining it here. And what that is is the three essential steps for the best stadia experience, all right? So I'm just gonna like cover it from um, you know from 5,000 feet, but I definitely urge everybody to come to sharestadia.com and read this um, excerpt in totality. But I just want to talk about the things that they correctly bring forth when you're looking at the optimal Stadia performance. First and foremost, make sure that you have high-speed internet and a quality router. Now, for those of us that aren't blow v8 nor part of the outrage culture and we're well in depth with information as it comes to stadia this isn't a, this isn't rocket science but a lot of people gloss over that when trying to explain the stadia experience to those that are more connected to a dedicated device experience just like with dedicated devices you want to tweak your monitor refresh rate and all these other settings for a, a dedicated level because this is a cloud-based system, you want to do like they say here at ShareStadia.com, which is make sure your, your, your high-speed internet is correct and you have a quality router, okay? So that's that's key. That's integral, all right? The, uh, dedicated devices have integral things that you need to tweak, and so does cloud gaming. And that's an integral thing um, to look at. Secondly, they talk about buy more games. You know, now it is a fact that Destiny 2 is free and... Uh, uh, I, I can't remember. It, it, I lose the game right now. Um, Samurai Showdown. Look at that. I'm having a brain fart. Samurai Showdown was free. You know, when you became either a founder or uh, was an adopter early on. But buy more games. Like, for instance, Tomb Raider now. The original Tomb Raider reboot on sale for $10. You can even get Shadow of the Tomb Raider at the time of this recording during the holidays, now on sale for pro members for $24. Wow. And you gotta buy these games, why? Because you'll see in future videos from this, um, from this platform that when you look at the Stadia version of these games opposed to other cloud uh, um, renditions of these games, those other renditions don't compare. Like I bought uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider and I compared it on my Pixel phone to the xCloud version of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Oh my, oh my, <laughs> there is no difference. So they are right, you gotta buy more games. Um, you can get that on discount. You get a lot of games on discount. And uh, one of my favorite games playing on Stadia right now is Darksider Genesis. I love that game, real fun experience. And it's great that I can float between my browser or I can go down to the living room on the Chromecast or I can just go to the coffee shop on my browser too and play it and, and, and it's seamless and it's flawless, all right? 
Um, with that said, the third thing is download the Stadia app. Now, it's a farce that you can't boot a game without the Stadia app. I, since I got my Founders Edition, I was I've been able to boot games without the Stadia app on my phone. Um, you know, via the Chromecast, e even via the web browser. Like on my Chrome browser, I just have a pin tab for Stadia, and then I just click on play and I can play the game. So you don't need it per se to launch games every time, but it is a very helpful app. And there's a lot of things that are in the app uh, that help integrate the service and make it work better. Um, you can do the store now outside of the app and there's some other things you can do outside of the app, but definitely to be able to switch the performance modes that you want, you definitely need the app. And there's just some other things that, that make it a, a great experience altogether to get the optimal experience from having Stadia. So with that being said, that's it from your boy. Again, check out sharestadia.com. Make, making big moves and doing big things in the Stadia community. We will be doing more spotlights. Like there are people that are making accessories, things like that. A lot of content will be coming, y'all. So with that said, let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you want more, click the links below. You know what I mean? Make sure to, again, share, like, sub. Let's get the good news out, people. And with that said, you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.